Hi YouTube, Zippy Zappy Z here, and I know it's been a few years now, but that T Max video I made was originally on this T Max before I switched out the transmission for the newer version. But this is for all you guys have been watching, asking me what's wrong with it. Basically, what happens is if you've never driven it before you wouldn't know that your transmission has to spin I believe around either a thousand or two thousand uh, RPMs rotations per minute before the uh, gears switch in and that was something that Traxxas made with the older versions to, uh, it was like a fail safe almost and yeah that's what that And uh, sorry it's taken me such a long time to reply, but yeah. Oh. I had to actually, uh, to get one of my screws out, I had to actually drill into it to get it out for this. There's some leftovers. Let's see, I'm testing the zoom. This is actually digital zoom, so I'm surprised it looks pretty nice. Yep, but I got the engine out of this dynamite. And I'm gonna go from there. This is mainly about the T Max, I'm just gonna go with that. Yeah, but that's with that, and if your transmission isn't moving at all, and it's. and uh, it's actually like broke, broke. And I would check a few places, such as uh, the shafts. Let's see if I can get in there. That shaft that connects uh, the differentials to the transmission. I would check that to make sure that the little grub screw is still in it. Otherwise, it's just spinning and making it stripped. I would also check to make sure that uh, as you're spinning this, that, let's see if you can see that that piece is moving too. If that piece is not moving, you know what section of uh, gears inside of it are stripped and broken. And uh, yeah, uh, if you guys need more help, just tell me. I'll make another video. I don't know how much of a help that was, but yeah. Alright, Zippy Zappy Z, signing out.